All right, Shalom, all praise be to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash. The bonus to our apostles, a great millstone that rule with honor and with diligence. And honestly, brothers out there pushing this truth and love and sincerity to wake up the elect. Peace be to the elect and their families, those that change according to the word, calling on the names of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, in time of trouble. We say, Peace be unto you, and may the Lord have mercy on you in these evil times that we're living in. And um, it's just a quick. Um, you know, video, I was looking at this article, you know, and, um, you know, there's so much going on in the earth right now. Um, there's so much going on um, in, the, in, in, you know, Babylon, in this country right now, you know, with the, with the, um, the hurricane that just bashed California and earthquake and, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, Maui getting hit by you know, uh, direct energy weapons and, um, you know, all these new diseases popping up all of a sudden, the, the fear of, uh, the fear of, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, new emerging disease and all the ones that uh, um, have, have reared their heads up, you know, but I was looking at this article today, you know, and, you know, we are really, we are really under attack in this place. You know, we're, we are under, you know, a heavy attack, man, consistently, you know. You know, people waking up feeling all crazy, you know, body feeling feeling weird, you know. Um, you know, feeling, it's feeling like your immune system is being broke, breaking, broken down, you know. That's what it feels like, you know. It feels like somebody, some, someone's behind the scenes breaking down your immune system. So they can attack you. It's like 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 they're softening the battlefield, you know. But the scriptures told us that these things will happen. You know, the scriptures told us that, you know, that hey, matter of fact, I get it. This is um Revelations twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. You know, a devil is not talking about some imagine you know, some some spiritual entity, you know, uh flying around, you know, like like Casper the the ghost, you know, messing with people. The devil is talking about a race of people. You gotta remember it says in Matthew and an enemy of the that that um that um these are the sons of the devil. You know, an enemy had done this, you know, but it speaks about how there, how, how there was, uh, uh, um, you know, classes of men, you know, in, in, in uh, Genesis, you know, there was, there was multiple classes of men, the sons of the righteous, the sons of, 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 of the devil and the sons of man, you know, the sons of God, the sons of men and the sons of the, the wicked, you know. And, um, you know, this man, E, is classified as the sons of the wicked, the sons of the wicked, man, the sons of the devil. You know, and he's really, we've been saying over the years that, you know, the time's going to come where this man is going to really show his horns. He's going to show his horns. He's going to he's going to show you that he's your enemy, that that, you know, while while Jake is being distracted you know, hating each other, mean mugging each other, can't come along, can't come together for nothing. You know, these people are really showing their their horns, you know. And um, it's going to get worse and worse. It's going to continue to get worse and worse because the Lord is going to use this man, which is his sword, to bring judgment. Okay, it says, for the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. See, the so-called the so-called white man, E, know that this kingdom is about to be over. And what does what does a what does a, a child, what does a person, you know, a villain do when he has control of something and, and he knows that he it's about to be taken? What oh how I will all die. I'll kill. I'll, I'll. I'll kill it. You won't be able to take nothing from me because before you take it, I'll kill all of it. I'll destroy it all before I let you take it. 
And that's the that's you know that's the sentiment of wh- what's going on in the world. You know, these people are talking about yeah, we need a global uh, uh, population reduction. You know what I'm saying? But it seems like, you know, it seems like the the uh, this country this country we're in is the only one that's uh, uh, participating in it. Other countries have banned food that this country has. Other country has banned certain. Uh, ingredients, seeds, all kind of stuff that this country uh, 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 um, allows. So it doesn't seem like everybody's participating in that that uh, um, uh, deep hop agenda, you know. But we know surely if you're watching the news, this country, Babylon the Great. The, the U.S. of A. is definitely the, 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 at the forefront of the deep hop agenda. Now, I want to show you something right here. This is uh, on the Defender website. It said, reports of malaria surface in, in states that already released. Wait, wait, hold on. E- EPA authorizes release of 2 billion more GMO mosquitoes as reports of malaria surface in states that already released them. Okay, it says locally acquired malaria has been non-existent in the U.S. for uh, for the the last 20 years. But five such cases have recently been diagnosed, four in Florida and one in Texas. And the only the only two states that have released genetically engineered mosquitoes. Okay, so what does that let you know? And who's who's releasing the mosquitoes? Y'all remember that commercial that Kill Gates had with the mosquitoes turning and forming a, a Grand Reaper? Now all of a sudden he's releasing these mosquitoes. Now people malaria is popping up. You know, Who, who's to say what's going to pop up in this next batch that he's going to release? Who's to say? Who's to say what's going to pop? What's going to pop up in in the, in the next ones? You know. It says um, genetically engineered mosquitoes created by biotechnology company Oxitec have been released in the U.S. and Florida and Texas. In March 2022, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, I mean, uh, granted Exitec a two-year extension of its experimental use permit, I mean, uh, uh, use permit or UEP which would allow a biotech company to release additional GE mosquitoes in Florida, as well as in four uh, counties in California for the, for the first time. While the EPA extended Exitex EUP, both the Florida Department of Agriculture and the California Department of Pesticide Regulations must approve Oxitex testing in order for it to move forward in their states. Following pushback from legislators, California DPR announced Oxitec voluntary with Jewish research authorization application to test its GE mosquitoes in California. Local Locally acquired malaria has been non-existent in the U.S. for the last 20 years, but five such cases have recently been diagnosed, four in Florida and one in Texas. It says GE mosquitoes created by biotechnology company Oxitex have been released in the U.S. Even though long-term effects could be disastrous, you know. So in in the two states that they released these, you know, genetically modified mosquitoes in, now malaria is popping up. That's what. That's long story short. You know. It says Oxitex is using Edes. Uh, uh, Egypt, Egypti uh, mosquitoes for their real world experiment. The species known to carry yellow fever, dengue fever, uh, 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 chikungunya, Zika, West Nile, and Mayaro, a dengue, a dengue like disease. And and knowing these co- these tech companies, knowing these biotech companies. That they 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 are more than likely enhanced the disease carrying ability and and the the power the the uh, efficiency of these 
these diseases. You know, they have they have they have strengthened them. You know, I did a video. Uh, um, I did a a, a a a video a while back about you know pretty much about gain of function and how these how how the CDC and um, not only the CDC other companies. Uh, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, are um, experimenting and strengthening certain diseases. You know, now mosquitoes been released, and now you have new ca- cases of malaria popping up. And who's to say if if you know if it, if it's if it's not something spreading all over the world as we speak right now through these mosquitoes? Okay. Um, matter of fact, let me pull it up. Let me pull up this Bill Gates uh, mosquito commercial, man. Because, you know, Salakia. Yeah. Because people don't believe, you know. Salakia. Yeah. Look at this. This is on Bill Gates' uh, YouTube channel, by the way. This 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 commercial was was done about three years three years ago when exactly when what the one nine was was we was on lockdown and the one nine was out there. Now these companies are releasing these GMO mosquitoes, which which were headed by him, and all of a sudden malaria is popping up, and they named five other diseases that these these particular mosquitoes can carry. So who's who's to say if if he, they're not releasing these things? And then there then there was another claim that the, with the weather, with the with the weather and these storms coming in, are blowing these mosquitoes all over the country or whatever. Now who's to say if you know the world just doesn't break forth with disease? You know they're already warning that they're already warning that um, you know new, new lockdowns will be coming. You know, uh, there's, 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 you know, there's, um, there's certain schools that have already instituted mask uh, 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 regulations back. You know, I was just reading about a school, in, uh, a college in Atlanta that said, oh, yeah, we got to start back wearing masks. You know, and certain institutions are, are, are telling the people, look, we got to start back wearing masks. You know? So, you know, a... Hey, Hey, we told y'all, man. We told y'all, man. See, when they still say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. When the one nine, when y'all thought that went away and and life so called went back to normal, which it never did, because another attack came out there. By the way, of the um, you know these these uh, uh the jab, you know, that's taking life. You know, one thing is already taking life. Then you introduce another thing that's taking life. Now it's more things that's taking life. And now when this comes out, then it's going to be more things that's going to be presented that's going to take more life. Because they're on the one-way path to destroy you. That's why the scriptures say, man, uh, um, uh, uh, um, what is that? What is that scripture? Um, uh, um. Matter of fact, just let me get it. I don't, I'm not, I'm not like, we lazy. I'm gonna 
res- oh, this is a natural res. It's not that accurate. Micah 2 and 10, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. You know? So the Lord told us that this is not our rest. This is not your rest, man, because it will destroy you, man. So you, you know, we, we should, hey the, hey, the scriptures speak about, you know, uh, pray, praying without ceasing, you know? We're supposed to be praying without ceasing. We're supposed to be calling on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai daily, you know. Even if you even if you get a moment of, of reprieve or you feel like you got a break, you're still supposed to be praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and calling on his name because we're still in the hands of these devils and we don't know what he's doing behind the scenes to destroy us, man. So, you know, we know that. The, the 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 all healing and power is in the, is in the Lord, man. You know, so we should be consistently praying and calling on the name of Zayah Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, because definitely these these days are evil. You know, these times are evil, man. You know. So now we see why. You know, there's a, there's they're talking about oh, there's going to be more mass mandates and all of that. You know, it says wait wait wait. I want to see if there's any more I can bring out. You can check this out um, on um, the, the Defender, the Children's Health Defender website. You know? Which it was released two weeks ago, but, you know, I just now found this this page, you know, just looking for new alternative media sites. You know, but... um. Let me get this other scripture. I ain't going to make this a super long lesson. 2 Corinthians 4, I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of, of the power may be of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and not of us. It says, We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. Hey, and we are troubled on every side. Every, everything that's happening now is to destroy the population. Is to, to, to destroy the people, you know? What's being done in the earth right now? You know, there's videos of what happened over there in, in Hawaii. There's a public inf- information that shows a laser beam coming out this up the sky destroying, destroying these houses. It's public knowledge. You know, you can go, I mean, the people recorded it and put it on the internet and people saw it and reposted it. It's, it's on the internet. You know, there's no no explanation of what happened or why, what's going on. But but the fact that realtors moved in immediately to buy the land up, let me know. Oh, oh, that's what's going on. It was t- intentional. It says we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Hey, we're troubled on every side, but we're not distressed. And we're perplexed, perplexed, but not in despair. Why? Because we believe in how about you, y'all was shy. We believe in something that's greater than this world. You know. Well, scriptures say, if the Lord be for you, who can be against you? You know, fear not what men can do to you. You know, and that's another lesson I was working on. But it says, it says, um, we are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. It says, always a bearing about in this body, the dying of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, that, also, that, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our bodies. 
you know. So you know we hey we we we're going we're gonna we're gonna have to endure this suffering this this trouble that's coming in the earth and we might be affected to a certain a certain point. You might lose loved ones. You know you, hey, his brothers gonna have people turn on them. You know his brothers that might lose children. You know. But you know you got to consider Job and all he lost and he gained everything back, you know? So we never know what we might have to endure in this life. We hope for the best. We're prisoners of hope, you know, but we never know what our lot is to endure. So we have to prepare ourselves to endure all things, you know? And and as more evil and as, as, as more wickedness presents itself in the earth, you better believe that the spirit is going to rise up to the occasion and present itself more. So, you know, just focus on Yahweh Bashimi. I was shy. You know, keep the faith. Keep the faith, especially in these times, man. Keep the faith. Trust in Yahweh Bashimi. I was shy, man. These times, don't doubt the Lord. You know, because we're going to be put through even greater tests in the near future. And we have to be able to understand that, you know, the Lord is in control of all these situations. And the, the Lord is our power. The Lord is for his men. You know, hey, brothers, man, trust that we ain't been out, out here doing all this for nothing. You know? And the Lord is just, man. The Lord is not a wicked man like the, the men of this world, man. You know, we've been speaking out and crying out, man. And the Lord sees that. So we have to just keep trusting and believing that the Lord is with us through anything that may happen. You know, so with that, I'll give all praise to you. I'll watch me. I'll shy the bonus to our apostles. Honestly, brothers out there pushing this truth. Shalom.